Make sure you watch to the end of the video to see how to win this episode's special merch pack. I don't know if they told you, but Shelby, Josh, all of them, they said uh, we get to take every shoe except for five, so you get to keep five. And yeah, so you guys go ahead and pick one, and then you better run fast. <laughs> Jordan. What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm George Kill and I'm here at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV with my man Caleb. Caleb, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey man, having a go, man. Blessed to be here. Yeah, man. Now I know you guys have some great things to show. This building is not old at all, right? Yeah, brand new Allegiant Stadium. A lot of people around the country probably know it as Raiders Stadium, obviously for the reasons for the Raiders moving out to Las Vegas. But this is truly a partnership between the Rebels and the Raiders. The Las Vegas community has embraced both sports teams. All right, Caleb, I'm your recruit today, man. So so what are you going to show me? So what I'm going to show you is a piece of Allegiant Stadium that belongs to UNLV, that is branded for UNLV every Saturday as UNLV's home locker room. So right now we're standing inside of 7,200 square feet, 7,200 square feet of UNLV branded locker room space. There's a separate coaches suite uh, where the head coach and assistant coaches can lounge out and, and get dressed as well. There's two training rooms, two separate training rooms, a full shower, full bathroom for the players after the game. Plenty of space to split up any position groups, come in for halftime adjustments, all that kind of stuff. Now, in what years did you play here, Caleb? So I played back in 2013. That was my senior season, 2009 to 2013. So a lot has changed since then, right? This gift to the Rebel Nation and to, to Rebel football is definitely something that we take full appreciation of. And we definitely are grateful as a program to have grown into a space like this and to be able to brand a facility like this and call it our own. It, it's, it's light years ahead of where it was back when I played. Okay, Caleb, not a far drive at all, right? It was just enough of a trip for me to switch my, my shirt up, man, and, and act like I'm a UNLV recruit. Right. Let's kind of run through this four-year area and then go on into the Fertitta Center. All right, so this is the Sands Lobby, yeah, one of the donating members to the Fertitta Complex. Like you said, a lot of recruits, a lot of kids across the nation, really a lot of people, of fans of the sport, have really fallen in love with the idea of a uniform. And, what it can mean, what it looks like. Deion Sanders said, you know, look good, play good, play good, feel good, you know, all that, that kind of thing. That's what it's kind of geared towards. So this immediately walking into the lobby catches the eye of the recruits. Vegas is about the flashing lights. And you see, you know, the UNLV paying homage to those, those kind of things, the lights that light up the strip right around the corner. Why not play up to that in the Fertitta Complex? All right, Josh, UNLV football has done like a total 180, right? This hasn't always been you know, UNLV football, where did it first start? The previous years they had a matte black, obviously they had a silver and a satin red. So when coach came in, we wanted to change it up obviously. And we went with a candy apple red, the gunmetal gray. And then obviously we stuck with the flat black. And then we also added a white helmet. There's a lot of different things we can do with it with decals, face masks. We can really change it up and get a new look every week. What seems to be the player favorite? I think the all white with the chrome is a good look. I think the fans really like it too. Is there a favorite apparel piece of the players? I mean, I think anytime you get like a t-shirt hoodie, you know, the travel suits are always nice. The Showtime travel suit. Nike does a good job of every year, you know, we're getting the top of the line stuff just like everyone else is in the country and making it ours. Okay, Josh, outside of the helmets, the, the main part is the, you know, the uniform, right? The jerseys. So this is the white, you know, we have the reflective twill outlined in the black. On this jersey, we kept it unique with the back. We didn't put the names on the back. So we kept it really clean. So when we wear that all white, it's, you know, it's all white with just a reflective twill. It looks good with the white helmet, chrome mask. Then on the gray, we do a little something different with the inverse of the numbers. Coach really likes the inverse numbers, something unique and different. So we did that as well as, you know, we added names to the back of this one. The red, it's, we have the reflective twill as well, just like the white on both the front, back and the sleeves. And then also, you know, with the player name on the back too. Now, this is one of the cleanest and, and most organized EQ rooms that I've seen. I mean, you have your totes up there, space savers right here in all black. Walk me through how you have everything pretty much organized. So these first three rows are kind of all of our player cubbies. As you can see, they have their locker numbers on them. So we were able to store, you know, all their practice jerseys, practice pants, game pants, game loops, all that in here, as well as their helmets. And every guy has a spot for it. So this is our hanging helmet face mask area. Red chrome, the silver chrome, the black and the white, you know, 
all different styles all in here. Now we're actually about to go talk to Coach. Coach came from Oregon. He knows about, you know, the swag, the drip, the apparel and everything. So uh, what are we gonna expect from him in his office? Some flash, definitely. You know, the silver chrome was a new piece with him. The white helmet was new with him as well. All right, Coach, I just finished with Josh and he told me that we we're gonna see a lot of flash up here. That's the word he used, flash. But I think he undersold you. I think you were raised in uh, the generation we were raised in. Kind of grow up with that in your head as a sneakers become kind of your deal, you know? I remember growing up and watching Mike commercials and that love and passion for sneakers kind of stuck around a little bit. I've been pretty fortunate. Obviously, you mentioned the opportunity I had to be with a really, really elite group of guys that were on the front end of something pretty sophisticated at Oregon in college football. And I was fortunate to meet some of those guys like Tinker Hatfield and Phil and Kenny Farr and the guys who really built that thing out and had that vision and just so happened to work out serendipitously to, to the collection. I'm gonna go right here to this autographed Tinker Hatfield Air Jordan 3. You, you gotta explain this. I got a three signed by Tinker here who's become a pretty good close personal friend and uh, became a little bit of a golf partner and so the last time we played I took the other one here and it's actually up there bronzed and we turned it into a trophy for a, a pro-am so me, him, his brother, and Justin Herbert, we teamed up and we put together a little something for fun. And then I'd had the other one. I said, you know what, you're gonna sign this one. He put the score on there. So it was one to nothing. Let's stay on threes, right? I'm seeing a, a three that's a classic to most, but it has a, a different set of laces in it. The three is one of my favorites. I got a few of these. The black one with the green laces. I, I change up the laces sometimes depending on where we're at. I think this was a bowl game during Christmas and ended up throwing in a green lace, trying to be red and green and have a little festivity to it. You've changed the UNLV program quite a bit since you've been here. What was your thought process behind just changing the, the program in that way? It's probably two part. Number one, it's just a sign of the times. Obviously the connection to Nike and the ability I had to, to reach out to some of those people I'm humbled by to help with kind of the ideas and, 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 and symbolic ideas in regards to the, the white helmet example. Like, you know, one of only a few teams in the country that have a white helmet, all white helmet. I think part of that was I wanted to symbolically say we got a clean start here. It's a fresh start, it's clean. I wanted guys to understand that the silver and the chrome and the red and the gray all tied into either this city, this program, the alumni, or a new wave. I think that's hopefully what's represented when we looked at and we thought about the design of the uniform was something clean, fast, strong, and new. Now, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of memorabilia, a lot of uh, awesome sports pieces. What are some of the ones that mean the most to you? I got everything from my grandfather's helmet that he wore, which is an original Wilson from like 1960 in grade school, to my alumni helmet. The bowl games are obviously really, really special. I think the pictures of the players that you got a chance to be around, opportunities to go intern and be around guys who really have an impact on my life football-wise. Jeff Tedford, you know, was a, probably the, the biggest cultivator of my offensive knowledge and, and, and ability to coach the quarterbacks, calling plays in the NFL, to Marcus signing the Oregon helmet. I mean. There's a lot of pretty special pieces up here. When I, I probably don't spend that much time actually looking at them. I mean, you got the jump man football that we played with one year. Two pieces I like in this office. It's what I see when I come in and it's what I see when I leave. When a recruit comes to your office, what are they wowed by the most? Probably a combination of everything because I think that the thing that's, that's most impressive about the way that this was put together by the Fertitta family and, and, and the Becker family and UNLV in connection with this city and, and what the athletic department did was that they understand that the infrastructure can really attract and really pull things together. There's not many places like this that are non-Power 5 that have this type of, of wow factor. I mean, you look at downtown and this lights up at night and I'm staring at the strip, which is an amazing worldview. Anytime you can get the field right off your office, you can get the weight room connected to it. I think when recruits see this, they understand what we're talking about in regards to when you want something to be connected and all together, the infrastructure really matters. They can see themselves having success in an environment and landscape that's tied together that well. All right, we're inside the weight room here at the Fatita Complex, 9,000 square feet of nothing but getting work in, 16 racks, two full dumbbell sets with custom logos on them, obviously. Perfect views of the practice field, also access to walk right out into the practice field. So after you get your lift in, get some condition out on the field, get some extra work in with the receivers, all kind of stuff. But 
a great place. Like I said, 9,000 square feet of nothing but grinding in here. With the evolution of sports science and the things that we're learning about the human body, one of the most important things is how you fuel your body. So it was important to add to this complex a full nutrition bar for athletes before and after workouts. Come get their pre-workout shakes, the post-workout shakes, depending on what the actual goal of that athlete is, what time of year it is, what season it is, and how intense the workouts were. Having a full-time dietitian on staff to help with that and help with the planning of the nutrition aspect of these student athletes is, is vital. Now, another part, we talked about the uniforms, we talked about all the combinations. A lot of times football players under the helmet, but it's still important to look your best. So having a barbershop inside the Vertita complex, you never have to leave the comfort of your own home, really. Definitely a plus to have a barber's chair and the whole setup inside the locker room, inside the complex. Now we're stepping into one of the more important rooms as an athlete, as a player who's gonna be spending most of the time in this complex. It's the George Malou Players Club. This room named after, of course, a former UNLV football player. This room is definitely a special room, not just because of the Elvis wallpaper, but because this is where the team is gonna be building that brotherhood that everybody talks about. They're inside the locker room, another spot where student athletes spend a lot of their time, especially during the season and during off-season workouts. It's definitely another home away from home, I guess, inside the Vertita Complex. So definitely important to make this a comfortable space for the athletes. I mean, I'm 6'3", and I'm sitting inside of this locker with plenty of space on both sides. So a lot of special touches with the name plates, the custom name plates on top. Cool touch that was added to these lockers was the home state of each athlete is also included on their locker. So you got guys from California, you see the California flag, you see Louisiana state flag, things like that. The athlete has been on a journey with this career for a long time and it's important to remember where he came from while also remembering where he represents now. So that's a really cool touch that I like. Also, there's lock boxes with custom pass codes that people can store their valuables in. Ventilated drawers for storage. Also, there's phone charging stations in each locker, keeping the player in mind, keeping things that the player is gonna be interested in at the forefront. No detail was missed when putting together construction at Fertitta Complex. While we're here at the Fertitta Complex, it's important, I think, that we touch on not only the other features of this complex and what it has to offer, but some of the names that go along with them because they're especially important as well to making this dream become a reality. The Madrigrano Family Training and Sports Medicine Room, the training room where athletes are able to start the recovery process using the hot and cold tub, as well as start their rehab with the underwater treadmill. Also the Gone Family Training Table, speaking about the nutrition and maximizing student athlete experience, it's important that nutrition plays a huge part in that. So having that training table available to the student athlete for two meals a day at least, to be able to monitor nutrition and make sure they're fueling their bodies the right way. Also an important benefit and partnership that UNLV enjoys being here in Las Vegas and, and one of the features and privileges of being in Las Vegas, the Harrod College of Hospitality is a partner of the university and serves those two meals to the student athletes to make sure that they're getting the proper nutrition when they need it on time. To go along with the student athlete experience, that first word, student, is obviously important for families back home. The Anstead Academic Center is definitely a key feature as far as what we're able to produce and bring to the table with student athletes. 25 computer stations, a full staff of academic advisors led by David Wedley, finishing your degrees out, making sure that the education is a top priority. Hey, you know what time it is. Make sure you head over to our Instagram page at sports dissected to find out how to win this merch pack. It'll be going soon, so you better go quick.